Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding heroes which are which will be important to awaken at first as you already know awakening means that you need to unlock you need to have five levels on every skill the heroes have so it needs to be five 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 and after that we are getting awakening skill which is an additional skill for a heroes there are some broken uh, awakening skills in the game and there are some game changing ones so like as you understand it's not that easy to awaken heroes so prioritizing the awakening of the heroes will be very very important in the future of the game and in the present doesn't really matter first of all we will do like a marksman, mages, infantry, uh, uh, and cavalry, and of course flying units too. At first we're gonna start with infantry. Uh, at first we will speak regarding like epic ones, right? Uh, if you are focusing on infantry early, that means you are uh, playing with Bahar as an uh, epic main hero, so you will get a lot of quest. Uh, Bahar tokens and it will be easy for you to just simply uh, awaken Bahar <clears throat> and then change to another hero. So Bahar is a uh, good choice, not an amazing choice, but you can use Bahar in many, many different ways. First of all, it's a stronghold hero, which means you will use him as for a garrison. And in general, if you are infantry player, at first, in the beginning of the game, you are always uh, playing with Bahar. After that, in my opinion, if you are infantry player, you are uh, awakening Eliana as soon as possible. This is like one of the best awakening epic heroes in the game, uh, as well as because you are having a lot of quests for Eliana dolls and it's pretty easy uh, and pretty fast to awaken her. Awakening uh, of Eliana will grant the, the Legion 70% uh, chance to receive healing when hit with a normal attack so it's amazing for a tanky uh, style of the gameplay like healing, shields and so on and why it's so important and why you should prioritize uh, uh, Awakening Eliana is because it's simply very, very easy uh, and you will use her in many different uh, legions simply because uh, she is overall uh, unit type, which means all unit types can be excluded to the legion of the Eliana. After that, like let's say we uh, awakened Bahar, we awakened uh, Eliana, um, it will take like maximum two seasons to awaken both of them together in my like one one and a half season and then like most important and most hard part starts whenever we are speaking regarding legendary units because it's not that easy to have a token for legendary units in this game and it's very very hard uh, especially for a free-to-play player like me to awaken uh, legendary heroes as you can see like I, this is my maximum amount of skill levels on the hero and I don't even have her awakened so like we need to prioritize properly uh, in order to maximize our profits uh, in our ten time value, right? Um, Bahar and Eliana is great, and in my opinion, next step will be uh, to try to awaken Garwood simply because Garwood and Eliana is amazing pair. Uh, that's not much like there is not a many times whenever uh, legendary and epic hero is so good, but this is like. Uh, new meta in currently in the game when Garwood and Eliana is amazing and of course uh, Garwood's um, awakening skill is adding like 1200 additional uh, healing and grants legion resistance reducing all damage taken by 20% for 4 seconds so it's gonna be super super tanky and super super uh, healing with the Eliana that's already a great legion to have if you are infantry uh, let's say you are not playing with Garwood and you are trying to play with uh, another infantry style which is like counter-attack damage and uh, like more damage style uh, yet again I think Eliana is a great choice to awaken and regarding like legendary heroes to awaken at first uh, if you will awaken uh, Madeline this will be amazing because she will deal damage to up to three surrounding legions 
regarding Mika's Awakening, that's not an amazing uh, thing to do. Uh, but if you don't like to play with Garwood, um, go for Madeline. And if you don't uh, have Madeline at all, then of course I would suggest you to go Garwood and play with uh, Garwood and Eliana. Other than that, the Gorish is a Skolgun and Gorish is a new heroes. People are still learning to play with her. Uh, regarding like Skolgul's awakening skill is like infant units in Skolgul's Legion deal 10% more counter-attack damage. I think in order for Skolgul to be amazing, you kinda need to have a meddling at first. And if you awaken Madeline uh, and you want to have Skolgul and you are free to play player and I'm not sure you have enough time uh, to awaken two legendary heroes at the same time. That's why I think Garwood is a great choice because you can play with Garwood as a primary and uh, Eliana as secondary amazing pair until you will go double legendary units in your legion. Uh, let's uh, speak more uh, regarding another unit type which is mages. And if you wanted to play with mages, I think you started with the League of Orders. And this is like one of the great choices you can make in this game in the beginning. Uh, and if you chose League of Orders, that means you are getting Waldir tokens in the quests. And you are upgrading, the, you are awakening Waldir very, very fast. This is one of the best choices you can make regarding awakening epic uh, hero. Uh, simply because Waldir's awakening skill is amazing. Uh, which does deals damage to the target and two nearby legions and inflicts gloom minus 20% uh, attack for two seconds. So you are dealing to damage to two legions. This is amazing uh, awakening skill for the hero, which is amazing by itself with the every skill usable in the battlefield. So if you are mage player, you will never go wrong with Waldir. Like magic PvP skill, amazing stats, amazing talents. So, uh, Waldir is an amazing hero to awaken. If you are playing mages, prioritize Waldir at the all cost. Even if you are not playing as a League of Orders, I would still prioritize Waldir uh, as a uh, first awakening skill hero. Uh, regarding like other mage uh, epic uh, heroes, I, I wouldn't recommend to awaken Alwyn at first. Uh, because like Walder is much 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 better uh, regarding Ethios, Ethios is a different topic and like yeah if you like actually you don't have any other choice uh, like great choice or besides Walder to awaken as a epic uh, uh, mage hero regarding like legendary ones we have two choices uh, one is Lilia and second is Velin well um, I'm not spending even a one dollar in the game if you are spending uh, money in the game, of course go for the Lilia Awakening, uh, this, is, this, is, this will be amazing hero to awaken if you are spending money in the game, but if you are a low spender or if you are not spending, uh, if you are a pay to win player and if you are not spending even a one dollar and you don't have Lilia, you're gonna go with Welling because right now we don't have any other choices. Uh, I think next two heroes will be mages and we will have many more, like I think two legendary mage heroes will be added to the game. And uh, until then, Welin, uh, when casting a rage skill on targets that is frozen, Welin deals additional damage and removes the target frozen effect. Uh, like um, the effects will is adding up with the uh, Walder's first skill, inflicting runes and freeze. So, great combination to have, you, if you will have Awakening, Awaken Walder, and if you will have Awaken uh, Velin, great, great combo. If not, uh, second legendary hero Lilia, if you are paying in this game, will be amazing addition to your team. Uh, and her, uh, her Awakening skill is almost perfect. You will deal like most damage during the wars, during the Roots of War, during the uh, any activity besides... Uh, Behemoth because Behemoth is for Marksman. Uh, uh, speaking regarding Marksman, we can actually move to the Marksman heroes and we have much more heroes in the Marksman section. Uh, 
so first of all, if you pl wanted to play with marksmen in the beginning of the game, you would uh, choose spring wardens, and spring wardens have spring wardens have Gwenwin as a primary uh, epic hero, which you will have a uh, quest tokens, and it will be easy for you to awaken Gwenwin. First of all, Gwenwin is one of the best heroes in the whole game uh, in the Behemoths because she is uh, uh, adding the poison to its attack, and poison is ticking damage and uh, Behemoth has a lot of HP and taking damage deals a lot of damage. So, like, uh, besides Behemoth, you don't have any other choice. Or, well, best uh, marksman epic uh, hero currently in the game. I would 100% recommend to awaken her, as especially because it will be really, really easy. Um, regarding, like, um, uh, legendary heroes, there is a couple of them. There is actually two ways of playing marksmen currently in the game. One is skill damage, and if you want to play a skill damage, like damage factor uh, marksman, you you would want to awaken uh, Kinara. That's my actually choice by marksman player. Uh, Kinara will be amazing, and you will have a primary as a Nico. Nico you will get from the gold chests, um, um, like uh, gold keys. And you can slowly upgrade Nikos levels and finally in the future you will have a passive skill upgraded like Awakening skill. But my priority uh, is Kinara. Kinara is my first love in this game. Um, a really, really high uh, damage factor, a lot of great skills. Uh, An Awakening skill is inflicting the def defense break and Nikos is kind of same defense break. So you are breaking the defenses of the enemy and you are dealing a lot of skill damage. Now, the another way of playing marksman is purely auto attack, normal attack damage, and uh, the obvious choices are Sindrian and Fregar. Uh, both of them is real is really really hard to get, uh, but currently, like if you want to do a normal attack, um, uh, marksman union legion. Then, uh, like either Fregar or either Sindrion's Awakening skill is amazing. They are great pair, but they were both legendary uh, heroes, which is which they are not currently in the uh, gold uh, keys. Uh, we can't get them from the gold chest, so it will be really, really easy for a free-to-play player to upgrade them both on the Awakening skill. So that's why. Uh, I recommend Nico and Kinara simply because Nico can be uh, pulled from the gold keys. Uh, next uh, unit type is cavalry. Uh, there is a couple of uh, play styles kind of uh, using cavalry. Uh, the ep epic version of the heroes in the cavalry section is Alistar, which is not that great. Uh, like you will um, awaken Alistar like simply playing the game uh, as normal. As you can see, I did not spend anything on the Alistar, and I'm missing like one level on the four skill, and I will have him uh, awaken. Uh, first and main choices, and always people who are getting uh, heroes on awakening is Emrys. Because, simply because you can use Emrys in a many different legions of the cavalry. Uh, and of course, Emrys has a great, great awakening skill, rage accumulation speed, uh, passion, and like uh, granting 100 rage. Like amazing awakening skill. Uh, that's why like you can play Emrys with... Um, Bakshi, you can play Emrys with Forondil. So, like, Cavalry is kind of expensive hero pairs because both of them are legendary heroes. And my recommendation is hero, which you can use in a many different uh, legion types. Legions, like, first of all, as I said, Emrys with Bakshi is great. Bakshi and Emrys is great. Uh, Emrys and Forondil is great. So, like, um, if you are more towards like skill damage and uh, like rage accumulation speed, you're gonna go with Emery and Bakshi, but it will be expensive simply because the two uh, legendary legions to awaken is time consuming. Uh, either you are spending a lot of money in the game. That's why I would recommend Emery's. You will never go wrong uh, with Emery's, you will have a lot of fun. Uh, cavalry PvP mobility, great talent. So, now this is like cavalry is uh, kind of limited right now uh, because both of the leg legions uh, need to have a legendary heroes. There is no epic hero which is kind of good. So let's see if they there add more epic uh, cavalry heroes. 
Until then, Embry is a great choice. If you will invest in Embry, uh, you will have a lot of fun. Regarding like flying heroes, I'm, I'm having an amazing time playing uh, flying heroes in general. And uh, if you will speak more deeply regarding flying heroes, there is like Thea, there is like Forondil. And that's actually it. And that's why I would recommend to awaken Thea simply because you can use Thea with mages in League of Order with Atheists and you will have Celestials in the battlefield. You can use Thea with uh, Forondil uh, in this, with the Spring Wardens and you will have Eagles in the battlefield. You can use Thea with uh, um, Craig uh, with the orcs and you will have uh, wyverns, marksmen in the battlefield so most uh, usable and most versatile legendary hero currently in the game uh, if you like to play with uh, flying units highly recommend playing with her uh, awakening skill is great uh, 1000 shield factor uh, increase in skill damage dealt by uh, 15% buffing, shielding, healing so great great hero to have uh, so this is like my main idea which heroes you should prioritize uh, depending on the style of gameplay you are playing um, thanks for watching um, i will continue doing what i have been done uh, and most importantly merry christmas soon happy new year and i hope next year will be better for me for you guys and for your family uh, bye 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 and thanks for watching